this winter um i tried to engage before drive we had some snow and stuff and I just couldn't get no traction like i normally could so i figured out you know i got somebody to check the front wheels wasn't spinning and uh so i uh, got in the shop here and i did a little uh, diagnosis on it and what the problem is is this uh four-wheel drive actuator is bad and there's a let me move the slide so it might be blinding you a little bit there um there's a way to diagnose this real quick and here's how i did mine you got two vacuum lines on it right here and uh, what, how this works is on this first uh vacuum line the first port here uh this is going to be vacuum when you engage your four drive it's going to supply vacuum to this uh, line which is blue and uh it's going to pull this lever right here in to uh engage your four wheel drive and then when you disengage it you're going to uh take the vacuum from this port here and it's going to go you got a second port right here the second vacuum line and it's going to pull this lever back out right here so uh, what i did i put a vacuum gauge on this first line here to verify they had vacuum had like 17 inches of vacuum you won't have like can't remember 15 16 least pounds of vacuum idle all up like 20 something pounds so i had 17 so i knew i had plenty of vacuum to be pulling this in but you know it just wouldn't engage and uh so what i did uh i went ahead and took this off did a little testing on it and when i pulled vacuum on it it worked except it wouldn't pull it all the way in like it should and i started moving it back and forth and rust was uh coming out i noticed there's a lot puff of rust smoke coming out of my little ports right here and let me just show you right here here's my new part i just got in today and uh, this is kind of what it looks like well, well i'm referring to the vacuum ports on top there you can kind of see right here you got one here and one right here and this is the way it goes in just like this right here and uh so let me plug this up right here to show you so i just got a little vacuum pump right here what i'm using and uh you'll watch that it's done pulled it in let me go to the other side here I'm putting this on this other side here and pump that up and you'll see that rod come out right there and that's what it does when the vacuum and when you, you know turn your four drive off it'll kick that lever back out and then we put it back over here on this first port here fly some vacuum to it and you'll see it it'll pull all the way in and uh so what the problem was over time whether it be water moisture whatever it gets cr uh, rust and corrosion in here and i tried to clean in the old one and uh it actually i got it where it moved in and out but uh it actually messed up the uh i don't know how they do it with diaphragm inside of it there probably it actually messed that diaphragm up so it wouldn't pull in like it should so uh, I just want to bring y'all along. I'm not going to show you how to take it off, but I will explain it to you real quick. It's very simple. You just take this boot back right here. Just slide that boot back. And right here, you're going to have like an E clip or some people call it a C clip. Just uh, pull that clip back. Then take your punch on that brass right there, screwdriver or like a punch, and drive this out. You just going to knock it out and uh, then you'll install it uh clean that area right up in there around where it goes back up in there and uh just drive this back in i, I was able to just push mine in yesterday with my hand be mad just bump it just a little bit but i put a little grease on there make it look easier going there and then put that e-clip back on there and uh, this here this rod right here when you get it out so far just take a screwdriver or something and just kind of pry this back into position when putting it back on and uh yesterday i just turned this around and just pulled it out and i was able to get it on the back side here without even having to pry on it but that's pretty much it y'all on that and that that will get your four drive working if if it's not engaging now if you don't have vacuum on this right here then you got you have a broke line or you have two uh vacuum cylinder up top there 
And let me show you that real quick uh, before I take this off and everything, just so I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about there. Up right top. here on the firewall right here, you're going to see these two uh, solenoids right here. And um, if one of these solenoids are bad, it would uh, prevent the vacuum from being um, uh, going down to your uh, actuator down on the bottom down there. But uh, just a quick way, you know, just check it out. And like I say, it could be something electronic too, as far as your wire and stuff like that. But um, just a simple way, you got two uh, lines, two vacuum lines on each solenoid right here. And you have one on the bottom of each one of them. You then got one right above it. So it's a total of four. But uh, the bottom lines will be supplied vacuum all the time from your engine. And you just have to trace these vacuum lines back down if, if you know, if you suspect a uh, broken, I think they run back up under the battery here somewhere, but uh, if you suspect a uh, broken line, if you don't have vacuum on them, so you won't have vacuum on them bottom lines at all time. And then when the, you engage your uh, four wheel drive, this cylinder here is gonna click and it's gonna supply vacuum to the actuator and it's gonna engage it down at the bottom. And then whenever you uh, cut it back off, then it will supply a vacuum. You know, this vac uh, this act uh, solenoid will supply the vacuum to pull the actuator arm back out to disengage your four drive. So um, you can do a lot. You know, you can check this here with a vacuum uh, a pump here, and also a vacuum gauge to verify your vacuum how much vacuum by putting a uh, vacuum gauge on each one at the bottom. Um, you can, or you can, like you can actually just take these lines off right here and take the bottom one and just stick it up on that top one there and see if it actually engage your four drive but like I said or you can just take your finger and and put on it see if you got suction on on it on the very bottom one initially but I um, hope I ain't been confusing there y'all but that's just a just a real quick brief description of kind of how that works and uh, like I say mine uh, it was actually this uh, actuator right here band. And that's why they tell you, if you don't use your four-wheel drive, try to engage your four-wheel drive. And I, and I, I did through the years, but the truck had been setting up a good while, you know, really hadn't been using it much. And uh, that way this here won't, you know, get corroded and uh, kind of stuck in there and where the travel is not pulling it back and stuff. So this should fix my problem, y'all. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get that put on and I'll be back and show you with the install and uh, just to verify that it does work. I just want to show you all this right here uh, so you get an idea. What I did, I took a pry bar and I put right here and I pried out on this little arm right here just a little bit and I got it right here on this uh, 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 the rod that comes out of the uh, actuator. So now I'm just going to take a screwdriver, a head screwdriver and drive this rod because it's compressed all the way back as far as I go right now. I'm just going to drive it rod that way and it's going to slip right in there on that i just want to show y'all how i can't show you with the camera but i was going to show you how i did that i just basically pried out on that just a little bit and that slipped right in behind there then you just drive it right up that way and that slipped right in that notch all right y'all here's these uh two vacuum lines right here it goes on top like i said this one right here is blue this first one here is blue and that's gonna be like a orange looking right here anyway this first one blue one there that's when you won't have vacuum when it's engaged and you want vacuum on that and when you disengage it on that second one there up in there on the shaft get that shaft turned in there so it's locked it's locked in so uh that's with it engaged now i'm gonna go up here and disengage it and show you what it looks like all right, y'all, I got disengaged. You see the plunger has came all the way back out. So that fixed my problem. 